So let's look at what the Harris detector algorithm looks like in each and every step. So first step we want to do for Harris corner detection is compute the horizontal and vertical derivatives of the image. And again, if you recall, we have learned how to do this in an earlier lecture by using basically how to compute derivatives and also doing to get towards computations towards things like uh, gradient images. Then another thing we want to do is we want to actually now compute information from the gradients to compute M. Then we actually want to kind of smooth it out a little bit and that's why we take a larger Gaussian image and take this image that we get and smooth it out a little bit because we want to kind of get more information out of the signal here. Uh, then we actually start measuring a scalar interest measure and I encourage you to look at more details on variety of books that could be available in the material that I may make available on this one. And then we want to basically find maximum value above some threshold and those would be the features. So this is a step-by-step -step method on how we can actually do Harris corner detection. Let's look at more details on this one.